Hey everybody, it's Ms. Dietrich helping you on lesson 7.8, the directions, use the distributive property to write an equivalent expression, and number 8, they give you 2 times 9 plus 5k, and obviously we have to put something different on the space. Now one way to think of this is to realize that we really have what's in the parentheses twice, so see here it is once, here it is twice, and we might think of 5k as maybe 5 kites, so the 9 plus 9, that's no trouble, right? The 9 plus 9, that's easy. That's going to be 18. But if we combine 5 kites and 5 more kites, how many kites do we have all together? And it, wouldn't it be 10 kites? So the coefficient is 10, and then we still need the variable of k. All right, so that one wasn't too difficult. 18 plus 10k. Now let's rethink number 8, which is 5 times 3m plus 2. So let's take a look at that. If we write it out as its separate factors, it might look like this, because we have 3m plus 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. Now we can think of, uh, you know, how, let's do the easy part first. Let's do the whole numbers. Let's just add up all the 2s. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. So wouldn't that be the same thing as 2 times 5? So that would be 10, right? And now let's think about how many 3Ms we have. So the Ms might be uh, containers of milk, for example. So how many of those do we have? Let's count them up. 3 plus 3 plus 3M plus 3M plus 3M. They're all 3Ms. How many Ms is that? Isn't that going to be 15M? So let's think of an easier way to do this. We can do 5 times 3, which would be 15M, plus we can do 5 times 2, which of course would be 10. Now if we use that same idea to help us with number 7, we could have done 2 times 9 to get this 18, and then the 2 times the 5k, because we have two of those, right, to get the, the 10k. All right, hope you found this helpful.